How's it going guys? Welcome back to PC Gaming. I'm Mason and I'm joined by Kyrath once again and we are in Genshin Impact for another run at quests. We did some grinding off screen just for uh, getting our stamina up. It's pretty boring stuff, but in this episode we're hopefully doing quests. <laughs> Actually get not get distracted this time, but no promises. Yeah, so uh, it has been a while since we played, but we did do some work offline, just grinding up our adventure rank a little bit and uh, leveling up some characters, but nothing really prominent game-wise. So finally, uh, we will return to doing the scheduled programming. I think today we plan on doing uh, a, a, another story quest, so... We'll head over to the Adventurer's Guild and get that started. Damn. You should see the view from where I am. <laughs> it's wild. Where are you? Uh, You know the... What's this building called? The monastery? Behind, mm -hmm. the, behind the statue? I'm on the tallest yep. part. Oh, very nice. <laughs> awesome. Oh, we have a cutscene going on now. Have you seen this one already, Miss? With the uh, machine? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll let it speak through on my end. This Fatui group, they like, just look super sus. I know, with the they masks have, like, and everything. Masks. Yeah, yeah. It's like, how are you not suspicious of these people? All right, I'm ready. I'm in the the guild mm -hmm. or the just... headquarters. Whatever you're yeah, in. I'm still speaking to Jean. Told me to head to the headquarters. It's a crystal embedded with some kind of. Power. I triggered it. <laughs> Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Almost there. Give me a second. Just let me know when you trigger it. I was just waiting for them to stop talking before I entered the, the guild. Mm. Uh, have you started the cutscene yet? Uh, I just went through the first... Like, they just read the first dialogue. Okay, I, I entered the door with Jean. Okay. Let me take a look. 
I can see Were you, are you able to analyze it part? But upon further uh, I'm like three ahead. <laughs> I think for these we don't have to stay. You That's know? true. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. Though I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention Ouch! Gosh, that hurt. The impurities in the crystal, it hurts when I get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Honorary Knight of Favonius? We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. Hey, it's adventure time. Okay, so first things first, accepting the achievement. <laughs> Right, I forgot to do that. And now, who do I? Who do I talk to? Oh, it just says leave the headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where do we go? We are going. Hmm. Not too far. Talk to Paimon. Paimon, what are you doing over here? There's something you didn't tell them. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. So you do remember him, that green guy. I don't, who are we talking about? Uh, remember back in episode one when we were in the forest after we just oh, started? Oh, Venti. Yeah, Venti. He looked just like that guy down there. Hey, it's Venti. <laughs> See? See? Wait. <laughs> that... That's the same guy! Oh, Paimon. <laughs> that was great. Do you have to follow him now? Uh, that green guy disappeared! Use Elemental Sight to track him down. Is that where you, we press uh, the the scroll wheel? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of annoying you have to hold it down. Well, here's an easier way to do it, to be honest. Because me holding down the scroll wheel is not easy, apparently. <laughs> or does it only last a couple seconds? Uh, I think it only lasts a couple seconds. Venti, what are you doing? Lead to this wall. Running up walls and stuff? Yeah, it's like... I can climb up a wall too. <laughs> he ain't nothing special.
There he is. Scene? Oh, it is. Did you start it? Yeah. What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the divine archon still walked the earth. A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dolce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child, full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept. As a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in the west. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms of brutal wars. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber. Only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence. But the liar could no longer soothe. Dvalin away. Dvalin? Who's that? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Oh, so that so red close. crystal thing is uh, the dragon steer? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Hey, so Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. <laughs> Good day, Outlander. Seems we meet again. I'm Venti the Bard. Didn't Venti Three look like the guy in that the picture? Popular bard of Mondstadt, to be Which picture? In, the flash, in, the, in like in the cutscene? Uh, yeah. Like, riding the dragon's back. Yeah. So. I believe that was intentional. Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe Yeah, no, this guy's not, this guy's either. not as young as he looks. Of course, it's about storm terror. Store? Hey, cut it with the amnesia act. All right, show it to him. Oh, isn't this? What? The crystal has been purified. Mm. When? Devalin, he, the anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child. Now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Huh? You really do have some wonderful abilities. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright, should she stand in the light. 
Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. <laughs> Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway, even if Devalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. I really must thank you for purifying the teardrop crystal. It has helped me greatly. But I've already come to devise my own plan. Oh? And what plan would that be? Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Friend? <laughs> One must be going. Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye Huh. What do you make of that? As far as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. Know what? Oh. I just unlocked co-op. Familiar? I don't know. I don't think I unlocked co-op yet. No. Co -op, co -op. It's at uh, a a higher adventure. Level? Fifteen. Oh, or are you sixteen now? I uh, just hit sixteen. You know. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Can we just teleport to where we need to go? I was like flying, and I'm... yeah, the... we can teleport to this statue. Which is right by it. Yep. <laughs> ah, there he is. Okay, I'll wait for you to talk to him just in case. Are you are you standing by him? Uh, yeah. Okay, cutscene just triggered. Oh no, it's just talking. Oh, what are you doing here? Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Devalin? Oh, uh, it's because gods... Um... Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. Oh, these things are annoying to fight without a range. What is a creature like that doing? Oh, I switched to my party. My party does. My, my party currently doesn't have a freaking like a like a ranged unit, like you said. Yeah, it's just, they love to float in the air, and never yeah. come down. You're just sitting there waiting. Come on then. Oh man, we can't get out of this. No. You have Barbara, just heal. <laughs> yeah, I, I, do, I do happen to have the thing. That thing healed too. I really wish I could do anything to this, but it just sits up there. It's gonna take forever. I should. I really wish they didn't change my party. Wingblade. I have legit no one who can. Actually, no. Barber can kind of do it. <laughs> I almost got it. <clears throat> Got a little health left. Ah, oh, yes, it came down. Hey, I got it. Oh, I should have used. Bar should have been using Barbara from the start. Now then. This is not that bad with her. Told you about the dragon. Nice. 
Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds, nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. They just... I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Devalin, cursed and left to waste. But now, before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Oh, okay. Mm, feels much better. Do you think, um... So, how exactly did you get poisoned? One second, what is your first dialogue? Uh, that yeah. would be because I tried to communicate with Devalin earlier, but was... interrupted. As a result, not only did I not manage to help Devalin break his curse, but instead was also infected myself. Yes, it was you! <laughs> so to make up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral. The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Hamel. Hmm. Did you finish the dialogue? No, almost. Oh, okay. <laughs> So what were you going to say? I think I have an idea, but... Um, when we fought Storm Terror and like we got lifted up into the air, uh -huh. it was probably Venti talking to us, eh? Oh yeah. I feel like Venti is... Uh... A... A god of sorts? Want... Yeah, I yeah. feel like he might be uh, Barbados, maybe? Think they so? Was, like, he said... Because they were saying the other people have seen their gods in a long yeah. time, and then their god has been missing. Mm -hmm. Their god is Barbados. That's all. That's all I have though. I, I, I don't know what Barbados looks like. True. I'm but at the. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm at the monastery. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm talking to Venti. Three, two, one. Wait, are you at the monastery yet? Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I, just I, was already started talk I already started talking to Ventier. I gave the countdown. I thought you were, you were there. Oh, uh, no, I was not paying attention. <laughs> okay, no worries. It's just a regular like, yeah, yeah. conversation. Will it really stop storm terror from causing more damage? Of course. I'm the best bard in the world. There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy?
So yeah, I'm in the cathedral. The we have to talk to Venti again. I wonder if it'll trigger it by itself or if we do it. I'll go take a look around. Oh, it. You can come if you. Nope, that's true. It's the same thing. We just keep talking. Go to Lind. Let me handle this. Hello there, sister. May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? <laughs> Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the god of Animo. But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help. I'd like to borrow the Holy Lyre. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. <laughs> what? It's a vicious dragon indeed. But once the acting Grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the Knight's way. That's simply not acceptable. Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then, I guess I'm left with no other choice. Oh no. Cannot hide anymore. My Are you done the second cut? Like the behold, thing? The god of Animo. Shocked, what, where he just announced he's just the god? Yeah, did you finish that? <laughs> uh, no, I'm still... Okay, finish that first, we talk to him again. So. Alright, I just finished. <laughs> okay. So I was... Uh, I think we're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is Barbados. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to him again. Yep. Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid, but I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the Holy Liar. Now, since you're the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius, maybe you can give it a shot. Barbados bless you. Oh, so now we talk to the nun. I know you. You and Amber saved Mondstadt that day. So what brings you here? Tasks from the acting Grand Master? Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. Currently, it's only used in Ludi Harpastum. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. So, may ah, I, I see, see the document from the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> A signed document is required. I'm on Adam. There's not much I can do. Uh, okay. <laughs> see? Now, if you'll excuse me. I want to love... the... What? Go ahead, go ahead. I, I said... Uh... I love throwing her under the bus every chance I get. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, Paimon's I knew it. Like my dude, it can't. I I I, I treat you Paimon respectfully. I just, I just like screwing with her. Yeah. No, but I was gonna say sense. that I can't wait for this nun to actually realize this is the actual god and like Listen, remember what she said to him. Yeah. Always be presented with the best sword, and yet here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. Today we stand for free will. Any suggestions on just how we steal it? Come now, speak up. That's what free will is for. I like Venti's idea. <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, okay, I don't want to go get some paperwork signed. I'd rather steal it. Raven justice of my arrest. 
How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You've made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! What do you say? Ah, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Paimon will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Huh? Okay, Paimon. <laughs> Oh, so we can we can manipulate time. Yeah. I think I went far. Do you see enough. that, man? Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit, to put it to like n ten o'clock. I think. I think that's. Oh, it says between eighteen hundred and six. Uh, twenty-two is fine then. Oh, I'm good then. Okay, I'm in the cathedral. Where do I where do I go? Oh, am I? Where is it? Do I have to go to the damn front door of this place? I know. Like exit and leave. I think so. <sighs> oh. Deary me, did I just happen to come to the cathedral at this time? What, what time is it now? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so I'm in the basement now. Yeah. Uh, so we have to like the stealth mission. <laughs> I'm very bad at this. Do, do, do. Oh, you can't climb anything. Oh no, this is bad. How do you crouch? I don't know. Control. Were we ever taught taught this? Do you need to crouch? I don't know how, but I did it. <laughs> you know, I, sh I should have totally got caught. Yep. <laughs> I'm there. Ooh. Cutscene. Mm. It's probably the... Full T? Fatui, yeah. Fatui? Yeah. Yeah. As if you didn't see us get in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no! We're busted! Run! What? Uh, follow me! I missed. <laughs> I, 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 hit, I hit the statue's head. Same. Where do I go now? What do you mean? Oh no, I thought there was more stuff in the air. Okay, I made it to wherever I need to go. Ooh, Master D look. Uh, 
Master D. Luke, this is this week's accounts. <sighs> the disaster has greatly affected business. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi! We'd like a seat at your, uh, least conspicuous table. Um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. <laughs> Aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. Hey, keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. Ask who exactly? The protectors of Mondstadt. Master D, look. Have you seen two thieves around? What happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <laughs> Haven't you heard, Master D, look? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Liar. Oh, huh? how odd. Isn't it? The Holy Liar is a treasure that was played by the God of Animal themselves. Such a precious piece of cultural heritage. You definitely know that. Oh, for sure. Off. Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Huh? So we walked Sorry, upstairs just talk. to go back downstairs to talk to this back. guy. <laughs> Thank you, Master D. Luke. Gonna jump down. <laughs> Today I think I'll have a glass of. You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. Something cold. Right. I want answers. Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... the owner of this tavern. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Although, most of the time, I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. For the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the Holy Lyo de Hamel. Even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hotshot? Oh, so it's you. So, you and the Bard are close friends? Well, despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. A shame you joined the Knights. The Knights of Favonius. <laughs> Inefficient right from beginning to end. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. <sighs> Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Seems you don't really like the Knights of Favonius. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. Now, answers. Why did you steal the Holy Liar? You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? It depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends on your story. Very well. Let me put on a show. What did I just witness? This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master Diluc? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Do we just change the time the to tomorrow night? The wanted poster. You should be safe. Uh, I, I don't know. 
As for the bard, however, I'll, I'll try it. Let's be see. So, in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. I'll set it to. They said anywhere between eighteen and six is like night. I'll just okay. do nine. Let's nine, no nine. Tonight, after the tavern closes. Um. Well, let's see. Okay, leave the tavern, okay. Wait till... Oh, the yes, very early in the morning. morning. <laughs> what time is it now? Lots of cutscenes. <laughs> yeah, it's a slow episode. But Gene? Wow. Interesting. Well, first of all, I can't now that's some interesting contacts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Does her Is voice true? sound different? Who? Paimon? Your honorary knight is putting um, themselves on the front line to try maybe? and resolve this Storm Terror Maybe? Because she's like putting up a different, like, she's not putting up her act as the acting headmaster or guildmaster. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the bard to play the song again to try and persuade. I believe you. To persuade our stubborn command. Wait. I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the four winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as acting grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the storm terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What kind of organization, organization are they running? Who? My like, Jean is, or Dialog is Jean superior. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe he's like, we don't often get royalty of Mondstadt? Or a noble? I don't know. <laughs> I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo God's power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. 
I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it. If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy. Are we heading to the the hideout now? Um, Outlander. I'm still in dialogue. Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take the Valen's power for the Cryo God. I fear this might fall. Ooh. All right. So we heading to the hideout. Yep. Did you teleport there already? No. Okay. Oh, they 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 kept talking, so I was like, I'll wait for them to finish talking as like as oh, true. they're talking as I was moving. So I'll teleport. I teleported I after there, like after that little conversation. Just like Lisa Trace, and then I think maybe we'll tempest. see what we can do, and then the God of Anima hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. We'll see years. what we can do. What makes you think that's their intention? Oh, please. Doesn't take too long. Uh, huh? mm. Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is up? <laughs> Even though I teleported, the dialogue's still going on. Put it on before you run into the Matui. Fortunately, there's still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade. Yeah, I'm gonna head in. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself in a personal level. Oh, where is the entrance? It's in the cave. You get a hole in the wall. Oh, you recommended party level 17. Oh. You gonna level up your guys? I guess that could... <laughs> Makes sense. Since I'm using my my fighting party, I'll level up Kaya and Ooh, it recommends having Electro. Um Electro nice. and that's it. No. Uh just one of them. Uh, I think it was fire, animo, cryo, and electro. So I'll put Lisa on. Oh no. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna make a different party then. I'm gonna do. Okay, I gotta teleport back to Monstat for a sec. Why? I have to go get Lisa. What do you mean? You... Didn't you have Lisa this entire time? Yeah, but she's out on an expedition, so I have to. I have to go complete that. What's an expedition? She's not. The, I think you get them when you're... You shouldn't have them by now. Yeah, but I haven't sent anyone on an expedition. Mm. You go to, uh... The adventures... The receptionist lady. You can mm -hmm. send people on expeditions and they go get resources. Alright. Okay. Should I just get this started then? I made my new party. Yep, go for it. I'm just teleporting back now. Oh, finally some action! Let's go! <laughs> I'm just gonna level up people a little bit more. Should be good, my levels. Oh, Cryo's Ice. Yes, sir. I have all the elements except for Cryo. Should I should I add Kaya to this? Sure, why not? The picture had a lot of fire in it, so. I think yeah, that's why I brought Barbara. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Screw it. Yeah, it probably wants Cryo to like so you can like freeze stuff. You know, like um. Yeah, but you know, I figured it. Oh, we get to play as Diluc. Okay. Oh. It's 
exciting. Is he a greatsword user? Defenses have been broken. I thought it was the Abyss Order attacking. How did you guys know the liars here? The place is being kept is locked up tight. If you I don't know which one of the guards has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. This guy looks like he's about scared. to walk this out. You, you just for worry real. about yourselves. One of the eleven is already in Mondstadt. Signora, when she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes. Don't you dare say a word about me. Did he say Senora? What a strange name. Number eight of the eleven goes by the name Senora. I think we're about to get into a fight. Across the seven nations like they do. Let's go. Entirely because of the eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. Never heard of that association before. What are you lot doing here? Oh my god, this guy's voice is so familiar. Hello? <laughs> Keep talking. You're and just how do you plan to borrow it? I have an apple. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can look down your nose at me. The will of Shneznaya is as solid as the permafrost. Oh man, I wish I had an archer. What, for the flying things? Yeah. Do you have any magic users? Mm, I have Lisa, but... Yeah, but like, uh, they're the same type as her, so... So many rashes! I'm actually happy about that. I need I need radishes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Swift and merciful.
You're just going to attack me? I am a proud citizen of Snezhnaya. I will not falter. Fight. Expecting a fight? What do you mean? Have you got the key yet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just got it too. Ooh. Have you used uh, Diluc's uh, Q yet? Q? Yeah. No. Where'd this guy go? It's pretty nutty. <laughs> I'm gonna use E. Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Then you have the trouble of having to deal with you herself. Oh, he's invisible, eh? Yeah. I'm just bullying this guy with Barbara. <laughs> oh, didn't she get hit? Oh, you hurt Barbara? Now she's full health again. Come a little closer. Let's spark things up a little. Ooh, oh. Got him. Can't run from dead. Got him. Finally, the liar is back in You safe killed hands. him already? I did. <laughs> what, who, who did you kill him with? Did I Luke? Uh, no, I used my main party. Um, Jangling, main character, Chong Yun. He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you. The songs bards sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. How's your fight going? Almost done. Nice. Let's go. He just he, he disappears too much. True. He's still there. He's still hittable though. Got it. Very nice. Now I got stomach cramps. Go ahead and pick up some new pieces from Shogun. Take it back, Ali. You got it, try Don Winery's dandelion. You tell him, Paimon. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, some good stuff. Yep, yep. <laughs> Finally got some action there. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, a spot to end off. All right. Uh, we'll continue this mission next episode. I'm intrigued to see what kind of organization Diluc's running and uh, Jean's role in that organization. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm just it was a good episode. We finally got through some story, even though it may just be a little bit.
I guess. Yeah, I guess that just wraps it up for this episode of Genshin Impact. I think this was our fifth or sixth one. I don't Who remember. knows? <laughs> yeah, but uh, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video, and I hope you join us for the next one. Thanks.